The CEO of SpaceX envisions not only sending the first human to Mars, but also using that mission as a springboard to establish a permanent settlement. Assuming everything goes as planned, Musk believes a self-sustaining city could be built as early as 2050. Welcome to First Class Tech, and in this video, we'll take a look at Elon Musk's dream city. Musk's moonshot ideas, Hyperloop, super fast ground transportation, connecting human brains to computers, tunneling to make the Hyperloop and other forms of fast transportation possible, all go beyond science fiction in the sense that companies are formed, employees are hired, and engineering solutions are developed. Musk makes them appear real because he enjoys building things and publicizes them because he can't seem to resist the spotlight. Perhaps more importantly, these science fiction inspired projects help maintain and investor faith in his commercial ventures, particularly Tesla, whose $61 billion capitalization is now equal to BMW's, despite the German car maker's revenue being orders of magnitude higher. Elon Musk's dream city, on the other hand, is unique. It's anyone's guess what happens after that. Inverse spoke with experts from a variety of fields, who identified a number of issues that the first inhabitants will need to address. They could mutate and develop new physical characteristics, find the city's confines, suffocating and develop a national identity, and create a new, ground-up economy. Musk has previously stated that SpaceX could offer a return ticket to Mars for roughly the same price as the average home in the United States, with the logic that someone could sell their house and move to Mars, that would come to around $200,000. Inter-Earth trips, which are expected to transport people between major cities in under an hour, could cost in the four-figure range. These figures pale in comparison to the estimated cost of the Starship mission. Gunter Lang, an economics professor at Kuhn Logistics University in Germany, told Inverse in May that the trip would still appear to many as a wild adventure rather than a serious investment, implying that it would favor the wealthy. So, how much would it cost SpaceX to establish a new city in just three decades? Between $100 billion and $10 trillion, Musk tweeted in August 10. What about what you said about 1 million tons of cargo to Mars for a self-sustaining city? Is that a real estate, a back-of-the-envelope calculation, or a figure of speech? Tweeted Alexandre J. Torville. Approximate minimum payload to Mars to nearest order of magnitude, so cost would be 100 billion at 100k per ton. Musk responded. Musk has estimated that the ultimate cost of establishing the city will be between 100 billion dollars and 10 trillion dollars. The calculations are based on the assumption that a city requires at least 1 million tons of cargo from Earth to function. Musk stated this in a July 2019 interview with CBS News, comparing the scale of the challenge to that of a lunar lander, which did not have to carry as much. He clarified on Saturday that this was to the nearest order of magnitude. During an August conversation with Chinese billionaire Jack Ma, Musk stated that the venture would cost between half and 1% of the world's GDP. The figure falls somewhere between what people spend on cosmetics and what they spend on healthcare. SpaceX's rocket launches in 2018 brought in $2 billion in revenue, so it's unclear how they'll pay for this. Starlink, the company's future internet connectivity satellite constellation, might fill the void. According to internal estimates, it could generate $20 billion in revenue by 2025. SpaceX may only require $3 billion per year to fund its Mars city over a 30-year span, according to the most conservative estimate. The cost of constructing this city would be determined by the cost of sending each ton to Mars. By the way, if you're watching us for the first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can enjoy our future videos while getting updated. Getting back to the topic. Musk noted that if each ton costs $100,000 to transport, the total cost would be roughly $100 billion. In 2017, Musk estimated that the current price is roughly $140,000 per ton, but he also mentioned $100,000 as a possibility. It may appear to be a large sum of money, but it is still a small portion of the world's total wealth. The overall value of real estate is projected to be around $217 trillion, roughly the same as global debt held by individuals and states combined. They the amount of money invested in derivatives ranges from $544 trillion to $1.2 quadrillion. Nonetheless, it is an utterly exorbitant sum in terms of the expense of constructing a new city. 
The starship is intended to be used by SpaceX to kickstart its metropolis. This is a fully reusable stainless steel rocket with adequate pressurized cabin room to comfortably transport roughly 100 passengers on a 3-6 to six month mission to Mars. The Starship itself is 160 feet long, but when combined with a super heavy booster, the total length is 383 feet. It's capable of carrying more than 100 tons of payload all the way to Mars. If SpaceX can overcome the problem of adding extra fuel in orbit. In September 2017, the corporation revealed its plan to deliver humans to Mars, describing how two unmanned starships would land first, followed by two manned and two unmanned spacecraft when the Earth and Mars are close enough. These individuals would be in charge of establishing a propellant depot and refueling the ship with liquid oxygen and methane so that it could return home. Musk thinks that establishing a metropolis on Mars is doable over the period of 10 orbital synchronizations, flying when the Earth and Mars are closest to each other. Musk indicated that the crew would have to start about 2024 to meet the date of 2050. In September 2018, SpaceX's principal Mars development engineer, Paul Foster, stated that future occupants will need to build recycling systems, landing pads, habitats, greenhouses, and other life support systems in addition to the propellant depot. Musk unveiled the first prototype of the company's Starship rocket in September 2019, the Mark 1 model. Built at the company's Boca Chica facility, was shown as part of a comprehensive presentation that explained how the company intends to build multiple vessels in rapid succession. The following month, aerial footage of the company's Florida facility revealed that work on two more starships was underway. The company intends to launch a 20 kilometer test jump followed by an orbital jump. The plan is to host several ambitious missions from there. This includes launching a communication satellite in 2021, delivering supplies to the moon in 2022, and sending Japanese billionaire Yusako Maizawa around the moon in 2023. From there, the Starship's adaptability should allow the company to construct both a moon base and a Mars city at the same time. It won't be fun for the first settlers, and there's a chance the whole thing will fail and collapse into an overpriced disaster. So what is Musk up to? In short, he sees it as a reason to be optimistic about the future. He explained at a September 2018 event, There are a lot of things that make people sad or depressed about the future. But I think becoming a space-faring civilization is one of those things that makes you excited about the future. That is the intent of BFR, now known as Starship, to get people excited about the future. The most expensive project in history? It has the potential to liberate humanity from the confines of Earth and usher in a new era in human history. Elon Musk has always believed that humanity will eventually become a multi-planetary species. The billionaire wants to colonize Mars and has made several statements in the past about his plans for the planet, including nuking it to make its atmosphere more habitable for humans. Musk made a similar statement on the Lex Friedman podcast in 2021. Friedman poses the question, when do you think SpaceX will land a human on Mars? Musk takes a long pause and says, hmm. Musk stated that Starship is the most advanced rocket ever built and that it is next level, but that there are a few aspects that need to be optimized. A simulation of the moment the Starship takes off from Earth until it lands on Mars can be seen in a video tweeted by the SpaceX and Tesla CEO with the last few frames showing astronauts gazing upon a lit up base on Mars. Musk tweeted about it saying, this will be real in our lifetime. And with that being said, it's time to end our video. How do you visualize Elon's dream city? Let us know in the comments. Like this video and make sure to subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos like this. We'll see you in the